Hey guys, what's up? I'm Arya and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on most commonly used English phrases or idioms, you know, which uh, we all can use in our daily language to improve our conversation skills and as well as to sound more formal and uh, ornamental. So I've already made a part one of this video, so you can check that out. I link it up here and as well as in the description box below, so you can go check that out. So without any further ado, now let's get into the video. So phrase number one, speak of the devil. Now, this means that the person you were just talking about appears at that moment. So if you and your friend were talking about a third person and that person just appears in the midst of your conversation, so you can say that speak of the devil and uh, here you come. So that means we were just talking about you and uh, you arrived. Phrase number two, when pigs fly. So this means something that will never happen because of course pigs cannot fly. For example, if somebody puts a false accusation on you for, you know, robbery or anything or something, you know, which you haven't done. So you can just reply that this is going to happen when pigs fly because of course you haven't done it and you don't intend to do it. So that will never happen. Phrase number three, to feel under the weather. That means to not feel well or good. So if you're not feeling well and you don't want to go to school, and your mother wakes you up in the morning. So instead of just saying that, uh, mom, I'm not feeling well, you can say, mom, I'm feeling under the weather, which means you're not feeling well. Phrase number four, to cut corners. That means to do something badly or cheaply. So for example, if you've been assigned a group project and uh, which of course you don't want to do and you just finish it for the sake of finishing it. So that will be to be cutting corners and doing something badly. So you could have done it better, but you did not. So that is cutting corners. Phrase number five, to add insult to injury. That is to make a situation worse, which in Hindi we can say, Jale pe na So for example, if you woke up late for school, so of course your parents will be scolding you for that, but also you run out of your home, all dressed up in your school uniform, and you see that you, you also missed your school bus. So that will be like, you know, adding insult to injury because you already were being scolded because of getting up late and now you've also missed your school bus. Phrase number six, to hit the nail on the head, which means to exactly describe and come up with the exact problem. For example, your company is not doing very well and the reason for that is not having a, you know, good marketing strategy. If you take up this problem to your boss, your boss can say that, yes, you've hit the nail on the head, which means you've already come up with the exact problem. Phrase number seven is having butterflies in my stomach. Now, that means to be very nervous. For example, um, every time before going up on the stage and facing the crowd, I have butterflies in my stomach, which means I'm very nervous. Phrase number eight is to draw the line, which means to stop at a particular point from where the situation can go from being okay to not okay. For example, um, Ram exactly knows when and where to draw the line in a conversation and uh, not bring up something which uh, he should not be talking about. Now phrase number nine is finding a needle in a haystack. Now this is a next to impossible task, which also means that finding something which, you know, is very tough. Uh, for example, nowadays finding a job is like finding a needle in a haystack because there are so many opportunities out there but you never know what is best and right for you. Phrase number 10, give it a whirl, that is to give it a try. So instead of just using plain and blunt, you know, words like give it a try, you can say give it a whirl. For example, um, that roller coaster ride was so amazing that you should definitely give it a whirl. Phrase number 11 is easier said than done. That means not as easy as it seems to be. For example, um, finding a job in the first place is very tough and leave behind finding the perfect job for you. So finding a job is easier said than done, which means it is not as easy as it seems to be. Phrase number 12, plain as a day, which means very clear and very obvious. For example, it was plain as a day that the cops went inside their house for investigation and not just for a cup of tea. Phrase number 13 is sleep.
sleep on it which means to think about it and you know to ponder over it before coming to a conclusion for example if you wish to join cricket as well as football classes for your extracurricular activities your parents can tell you to actually sleep on it and think about it for a little longer before you draw the conclusion and you know because both the games you cannot carry simultaneously so you have to choose what is best for you phrase number 14 is to stick your nose into something this is very common and uh, i'm sure you all know what it means that is to interfere into someone else's matter so for example if your classmates are continuously asking questions to you on a particular matter which you don't want to answer you can just tell them to stop sticking their nose into your business and uh, you are not interested in replying phrase number 15 is to step up your game that is to start performing better now for example if you are very scared of uh, you know uh, facing the crowd or going up on the stage and if you really want to improve you can say that okay the next time i am up there i'll step up my game and i'll practice harder and i'll make sure to you know perform better so that means to start performing better so phrase number 16 is in the nick of time that is almost at the last minute for example i managed to submit all my assignments in the nick of time that means i completed my assignments at the last minute now phrase number 17 is very common and known to all of us that is every cloud has a silver lining which means to find good in every bad situation so for example if you are not very happy to move out of your city to a different city to start your university education and move away with your family so you can see that there is a silver lining on the cloud that uh, you know just away from your family for nothing you are going to be studying for your higher education and which will make your career bright phrase number 18 is down for the count which means to be tired or unwilling or unable to do something so for example after an entire day of uh, you know trekking and climbing up the mountain we all were down for the count when it was time to set up the tents which means everybody was tired and uh, you know unwilling to set up the tents phrase number 19 is apple of one's eye which means to be you know the favorite and the most loved person so for example um Being the youngest person in my family, I am the apple of my parents' eyes. Now the twentieth phrase is "you rock," which means you're great. Now, for watching the entire video and coming up till the last phrase, you guys rock. So that was it for today's video and all the phrases. Make sure to use these phrases in your daily lives to sound more, you know, good and ornamental. Also if you like the video give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and uh, I'll see you very soon with a new video till then keep reading keep learning